tunyen la te way na bu fekke na amna ay cadeau yo bu ga garal fi mu nga ko def legi yere jef chairman thank you chairman ma ge gerem lead council as a deputy council i want to thank the lead council and the deputy lead council a commissioner sip and all the commissioners a executive secretary <laughs> and the executive secretary Everyone that works here at the TRRC. DPC statement takers. From the statement takers. I see your stance and your work. I thank you and honor you. What I want to say here is that. Degala anti athlete wax nako fi it is true anti athlete said it here fufu la buga commencer and that is where i want to start off from moy ne suñu hiv and aids that is to say when it is said hiv and aids da nga gis ah ñep di halat you see that uh, everyone is thinking dinañ la level level bu neeka they will level you all types of levels ngeen jegal ma ci cadeau bi Uh, pardon me for this uh, statement. Some would say she's a player. Some would say that she was in study. But what I want to say here is that HIV and AIDS, HIV and AIDS is something that is it does not discriminate. It does not uh, check whether you are an elderly person or whether you are a young person. Whether you are rich or poor, it doesn't check that. If HIV was uh, discriminating people, then a child that is newly born who knows nothing about the world go mané hiv dina ko japa i don't think hiv is would uh, affect the hiv su don jay and if hiv was to be sold do am ken ku ko sam di jay waxatuma la nga am client bu ko lajte you would not have anyone who would have it for sale much more to have a customer to buy it kon nak therefore li may ñaan askan bi what i want to plead to the general public HIV. let them uh, consider hiv February. and uh, include it in other diseases with other diseases and let them know that this is a, a disease which can uh, affect anyone if they do that for hiv the, to fight hiv would become easier if they did that ni am hiv those living with hiv dinañ muna geena si they would be able to come out ñu ñoo wax and say te seen wax bi and uh, what they would say da fa jangale would uh, teach people because din ko foge wut ko xamne su geena se ne la man dama am doomi jangoro bi da nga ne dey dey because you would uh, not believe it if someone came and said that i have hiv da nga ne dedit you would say no so uh, hiv da fa complicated toro so hiv is complicated li tam gena complicated moy stigma bi what makes it more complicated it is the stigma ñu gis nañ hiv mu japp ay jigen we have seen women who have hiv sen family abandon len and who were abandoned by their, their families sen jekar yi fasse len their husbands divorced them sen dom yi bedi len their children abandoned them te su feke ne amon nañ ham ham bi and if they had the go mané dinañ don ega fofu nonu yeb i don't think they would have gotten to that level ma joge fofu ñew ci li xewon in 2007 let me now proceed to talk about what happened in 2007 nit ñep ham nañ ne ñaar fukki at ak ñaar ru bari xewna fi 
because everyone knows that uh, for the 22 years many things happened here while in 2007 lolo tam history la but what happened in 2007 was history teu du munsa gena se bugi gambia bi and it shall never leave the books of the gambia nga jel ay jigen you take women because majority bi yeb ni jamon si fajo bi tri kota bi yeb jigen lañ because the majority who part, took part in the treatment program three quarters of them were women ken ba jot fajma ken ba ñut fajma no one will refuse, uh, will refuse if you to to be cured why so ma fajj tamit but if you are to cure me nga respect ma si kaw lolu you respect me in the process as well lu ta ma wax lolu moy ne why i said that is because ñun biñu yaay jaame don fajj when yaay jaame was treating us dañu de simi they used to undress us aduna bi yeb diñu setan the whole world will be watching at us fu nek si aduna gis nañ sa yaram si biti everywhere in the world people have seen your uh, uh, body te duma ustaz way xamna ne imam mum fi i am not a religious scholar but i know that the ustaz is here ciari jigen luñu wara fonkala and uh, the women women's endowments is something that should be respected why ñu dañ ñu expose but we we are exposed mun na wax ne sa dañ ñu sexual harass i can even say that we we are sexually harassed because jigen nga ne ko simekul because you ask a woman to undress te dal lie down ngay lal fu nek ci yaram am bi and you would be touching all parts of our body wen jigen dalé harass nga ko even if you touch uh, the uh, the the breast of a woman that in itself is harassment wahal waxu mala nak yaram am bi i'm not talking uh, of the entire body metut la metut lañ ko torop it's uh, something that we deplore a lot te dundé won nañ lu lu meti torop and we uh, lived a very painful uh, ñu nek ñu nek ci bobu tamit those that uh, partook in the uh, treatment am ñu ay doma they we were also accused of being ñu ñoo nanda tal they were making us to drink ñi taago ak suñu sago and we were losing our mental stability taxi ak hiv bi ñoo dundé and that added on to the hiv that we are living with kon ma ngi ñaan i am pleading trc the trrc señor ya sen recommendation when it makes its recommendations comme slogan bi ñep xam nañ ko never again since we all know the slogan never again so never again bobu nonu that never again bum mc li yaay jamé def rek let it not only stop at what yaay jamé did na neka lo xamné let it be something da fa sax ci dikk bi that will be established firmly sax ci rew mi in the country be nga xamné kep ko ñew so that anyone that came sa do mi rew yo the people of your country ding len fonka you will respect them do len jaay do le you will not abuse uh, no, no, them lo do nonu manko ding kane manko den ko trrc that is a load that i place on the soldiers of the trrc to put it amongst your recommendation taxi nak man nak tay ñoo na testify na are them to that i have come here to testify why am na challenges you bari but i have a lot of challenges because man in uh, 2017 because in 2017 biya jamé démé when ya jamé left bi ño waatlo adama baro when adama baro was been sworn in amon na ay delegation ni al jazeera yu ñu won interview ma there was a delegation from al jazeera that came to interview me after interview wo nonu after that interview ñu commencé di airs ma interview wi they started to air my interview because dañ ma don laaj naka la faj bi démé because they were asking me how the whole treatment went ndax dega la na du dega whether it was true or not li ma ci xam ma wax len ko i told them what i know about it so si lolu in april so because of that in april ma am kuma attack ci suma bunti kir someone attacked me in my house demon na be um ya la mo ma ar it was only god who protected me ko ko jotu ma gañ he did not uh, end up wounding me waye munon na ma gañ fofu nonu suma suma defon naka sudut nonu because he could have wounded me there if i did not uh... because 
It was at my uh, gate, I was coming home around 8 and 9, that time it was dark because of the on and off of the current. I went, when I was about to open the door to my uh, house, I heard someone call out behind me, stop, don't enter. I turned. He asked me, where are you from? Maneko, who are you to ask me where I am coming from? I said to him, who are you to ask me where I am coming from? Maneko, any slightest mistake you do here, I will shoot you to death. He said to me, any slightest mistake you do here, I will shoot you to death. Ma complain, because how malala ame, I complained, he was just next to me. Because I did not know what he had, and he was just next to me. If I had done otherwise, he could have injured me, and before I would uh, scream out for assistance, he would have gone. He followed me up to inside my house, my room, and he sat in my sitting room. He asked me, where are you working at? At that time, I was working at the Serekunda General Hospital. I told him that. He laughed. So you are a public figure. So he said to me, you are a public figure. After Lulu, after that, some minutes, some minutes, telephone number ring. His telephone rang. He put it on speaker. Yes, sir, yes, sir. How far? I heard, yes, sir, yes, sir. How far? Muneko. Just give me five minutes. I'm sitting, I'm right now sitting in her room. He said uh, to the other uh, caller, uh, just give me five minutes. I'm sitting in her room. I will deal with her. I will deal with her. So, man, this is my heart. So, in my own mind, my heart one on one, my money leader link. I put the dots together, the dots together, and I said this was uh, a chain work. And when he made the statement that I was a public figure, I was also thinking about that, why he said I was a public figure. Even before that, at the gate, I was in a jean skirt. I was just from a tailor, and the money that I had on me, he took it away. So, Bimne, I'm sitting in her room. Give me five minutes, I will deal with her. So, when he said, I am sitting in her room, give me five minutes, I will deal with her. I thought this individual was after money. So, Majuk. So, I got up. For that time, I had some money. Them na be two thousand plus. Up to two thousand and more. He asked me where are you going to. I said I am going to the bathroom. I went to my bedroom. I opened my drawer. Took out the money so that I could give it to him to just make him go. So you are looking for money. So when I came and said to him, take, you are looking for money, he snatched the money from me and put it inside his pocket. The next minute, The next minute, what did he do? Mu click mobile because time will light am to see them line talk. He clicked on his mobile phone. That time the lights were off and it was dark. He said to me, have you seen this? And I said, no, I have not seen it. He said to me, look, and I told him, I have not seen. You don't want to see. He said, well, you don't want to see. Okay. He said, well, this is us. We are the ones that do it. At that point, the photographs that he showed me on his mobile phone, we are women, just as they were born. He said, yes, I will uh, take a photograph of you Ma expose la social media. and I will expose you on social media because you are a public figure. Because you are a public figure. Me? He said to me, are you beating your chest for me? I told him yes, because now I am at the point of death. 
He said, really? I said, yes. I said to him, since you have come to kill me, now you will kill me. So completely. And when you know that I am completely dead, nga undress ma. you undress me, nga snap ma. you snap me, e nga expose me and tomorrow media. you expose me on the social media. So nga if you wish, you could do that tonight. But as far as I am alive, but as far as I am alive, over my dead body. I said to him, over my dead body. So hamna push and pull bi mungi ame hali si man luma halat. I think as the push and pull was going on, and since yeah. he had already gotten money from me, because and this is just ke, what I think. Because when he first came into the room, he first asked me, with whom are you living with here? And God knows it's only me and my family who are there. I said, my husband, my husband's older brother, and two of his wives and children. Siman. To me, when he thought about that, I had the money in my pocket. If I should engage in a push and pull with this individual, someone can come in there and find us there. I will lose the money and, and they will arrest me as I thought it then. He got up. I'm going, but I will come back. He said to me, I'm going, but I will come back. Maniko, God is greater than you. I said to him, God is greater than you. So, bim de nebe, ma diga suma bunti kergi. So when he left until I had uh, the noise on my door, sila kuma se ditit. That was when I started to fear. Mane yala regi. I said, God, it is only you that can protect me. It is only you that can do such a thing for me. Sigudi bobu. Even when the current came back, I was not courageous enough to switch on the lights. So, si Alexi, si suba, the following day, day tombe, in the morning, which was a Friday, si station, me pour report I went to the police station to report the matter. Guy statement. They took my statement. Si station. They referred me to another police station. Nyo, nyo tami statement. They, that, uh, they also took my statement. Uh, police they uh, gave me one policeman to accompany me to the house to inspect it. After inspected After he inspected the house. My sister, uh, he said to, he said to me, it is not safe for you alone to live in this house. These people are many, and no one knows who they are. He said to me, I'm going. I sat down and another one CID called me. He too came to the house and was questioning me. I began to answer. The first thing he asked me was, where did this individual attack you? I said, at the gate of the house. He said to me, why did you not scream when he attacked you? I said, people are not the same. I said, when I am scared, I am unable to move. I am always speechless. He said to me, you, you should have screamed so that people will come to your rescue. I said to him, Do you, don't you think if I had screamed, you would have been here this day talking to me? Me, you could have killed me. Because me. any slightest mistake you do, I will suit you to death. If someone that tells you that any slightest mistake, I will shoot you to death, and you do not know what that guy was having in his possession in that darkness, that was not the end of it. That CID officer got into the room, and he asked me where that guy sat. I told him he sat here. And he said to me, you are still uh, sitting with that individual, and you are looking at him. He said to me, what do you want me to do? So, he took a paper and scribbled. He went behind my, the window. Because Because we were speaking in Mandinga. He went behind the window and he called. Hello, Eso. He said, hello, Eso. I'm in the ladies' compound, but through my observation, I learned that she is the one who led the man to follow her in her house. I am at the ladies' uh, house, but through my observ observation, I learned that she was the one that led the man to her house. 
After he said what he wanted to say. He said, uh, Fatu, follow me to the station. I told him, go, I will come. He went, and then I put off my telephone. I did not go to the station. Because I know that if I go there, I'll get something that is going to be more painful to me. Because he had already started judging me and apportioning blame on me. After three days, I call out. After three days, he called again. He said, you, we are waiting for you at the station and you have not uh, showed up. I said, who are you? And it said, it's me, the CIA. Pardon me, I insulted him. I told him, don't call my line again. I do not know who taught you the work of a CID. And how you even got into the work of a CID. But you are not fit to be a CID but, and investigator. But you are not fit to be a CID and investigator. I said to him, even if I was faulty, you would have gone with your recommendation. Rather than gawara call sa boss, rather than you calling your boss in my presence and saying the things you said. I told him, this is my case. The one that attacked me knows. I know. God has seen. I said, God is the highest judge. I leave my case in the hands of God. So that was how we are. Where I was, I was uncomfortable and we relocated. We, we, relocated. we went behind Lamin CDC. I relocated. All of my children began to get sick. I left that place again. We relocated. We were there. Until we had two years, six months in that house, the owner, the landlord became otherwise to us. He evicted us. We relocated to another place. I was moving from one place to the other with my children. Up till date, where I am sitting here, I am looking for a house to relocate to. Because safer to my friend. Because I am not safe anywhere. I'm not audio we need to circulate. There is an audio which has been circulated. Why mange try for am ko why munu moko am. I am trying to have access to it, but I'm not been successful up till date. Borom mung mafa saga. That individual is insulting me there. How much my papa? I do not know who I am. Yeah, and yeah, me fight na ma. Yeah, yeah, me killed me. The man na be buga de. I was about to die. Yeah, yeah, me mama ta how fight ma. Yeah, yeah, me was the one that killed me. But I'm ta how nan man mane my you yeah, yeah, me court. And I was, I now I am now taking yeah, yeah, me to court. Why is mama way too? But if I am not careful. I was uh, threatening words now. He was using threatening words. So my young commission be. So I am appealing to the commission. I have a, a family, a young family. And uh, besides God, it's only me and them. So small protection. So my protection. I have come here today. I have testified. How my life is I do not know what I will meet in front of me. So Lulu is my concern. That is my concern. My commission will Lulu. I am appealing to the commission on that issue. Thank you all.